A week after losing most of his crops, a farmer in Jones says that people from all over the country are offering their support. Fox 25's David Chasanoff joins us live from Riziki Farm. So, David, where has the help been coming from? Wayne and Wendy, the State Department of Agriculture, the Oklahoma Farm Bureau, and the Oklahoma City Police Department have all stopped by to investigate. Meanwhile, people from across state lines are making the drive to Jones to help however they can. And then we don't want to keep the seed potatoes. Okay. Dozens of people made the trip to Riziki Farms to clear out some dead plants. It was about a four hour drive to get here. Aspiring farmer Aaron Allen drove up from Dallas. Um, yeah, I'm looking to start a farm here in the next year um, down in Texas. And um, like I said, I just saw what had happened to them and I just wanted to come out and help. We've seen a lot of support. We've seen support, you know, over the years, the 15 that we've been doing this, but this is definitely uh, a team effort. You know, it's coming from all over the city, all over the state, and we've got out, actually out of state support, so. Michael Rizicki says once the dead plants at his farm get torn up, his family will put new seeds in the ground along with other donated plants. So we're hoping within the next you know, 30 to 60 days, we start seeing a little bit of growth and some production. While investigations about what happened continue, Rizicki says having the community behind him means everything. It's very uplifting. It's the hope that, you know, going to keep us going. That we all have to help each other in one way or another. Um, and so I think that the more that, that we can all help each other, the, the better everybody can be and the better our communities can be. And Riziki tells me it should take two weeks to find out what was sprayed on his crops. Reporting live in Jones, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.